but is it real? You're looking at the incredible Blue Star Counterfeit Diamond Ring. You've seen all kinds of simulated diamonds that have a dull, fuzzy, yellow, or glassy look. But there's only one Blue Star Counterfeit Diamond. It's flawless, full of fire and brilliance, dispersing a blaze of spectral colors like tiny rainbows. A one-carat center stone surrounded by four smaller stones. Yes, an expert can tell the difference, but practically no one else can. And it comes in a man style, too. Rings of similar quality are sold for as high as $50. But for a very limited time, we are offering this ring to you for only $14.95, two for $28. Enjoy it for 10 days, and if you're not delighted, return it, and we'll refund your money, no reason necessary. Only $14.95 or two for $28. Order now and give your ring size. Call now, 1-800-228-2036. That's 1-800-228-2036. Happy New Year from the staff and management of Channel 39, KHTV, Houston. From the wrestling capital of the world, Channel 39 presents Houston Wrestling, the world's greatest wrestling stars in fierce competition. Houston Wrestling is brought to you by I.W. Marks Jewelers, 3841 Bel Air Boulevard at Stella Lake, where you get fine quality jewelry at tremendous savings. By Eddie's Mobile Homes, with three locations to serve you. By Mr. Norman, the man you can trust for lifetime siding on your home. And by Love TV and Stereo Rental, with five locations to serve you. We'll join Paul Bosch in just a moment. Eddie's Mobile Homes announces the home you'll be proud to come home to, Permadwell, the sectional home that offers all the livability and features of a conventional home at one half the price. This floor plan offers a formal living room, dining room, den, with three bedrooms and two full baths. The kitchen is equipped with frost-free refrigerator, continuous cleaning electric range, and dishwasher. Each detail has been carefully coordinated to excite any homeowner. Select from other floor plans that are available, or you can design your own. Imagine buying your own home with all these features and over 1,500 square feet of livability for only $14 per square foot. Compare this sectional home to conventional housing. FHA and VA financing is available. Permadwell, the home you'll be proud to come home to. Available exclusively at Eddie's Mobile Homes with three locations to serve you. A call right now to Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding can mean a big improvement in the way your home looks. If you need siding, if you need to fix that overhang, if gutters are faulty, if aluminum windows can restore beauty and insulation to your home, Mr. Norman is a man to put to work to get the job done right and at a cost you can afford. Now is the time for adding siding to your home. Call 864-7766 for a free estimate. Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding, 864-7766, the man you can trust. Welcome to the Sam Houston Coliseum, a jam-packed coliseum as the fans here start to settle down for a super night of action that's about to take place. This is the first match of the evening and also the first match of your television action. It's a one fall, 15 minute time limit event and my name is Peter Burkholz. I'll be your announcer for the first match. Promoter Paul Bosch will take over immediately following you, take you the next 90 minutes right here on Cage TV. Have some great matches lined up for you, also with interviews with many of the big name stars that are going to appear here tonight that drew this tremendous crowd here to the Coliseum. So we hope you stay tuned and enjoy it. The man with the side headlock, that's Nick Kozak. Nick Kozak who makes his home here in Houston, Texas. Up against Satanus number two. Number two because there's another Satanus on tonight's program. We have 22 wrestlers, but that's taking place tonight here at the Coliseum. Your referee is David Manning. 
David Manning, who's refereed in other cities across the state of Texas. Very rarely makes an appearance here in Houston, but he is your official for this first match. If you're wondering why you see two rings set up, well, tonight is the annual traditional two-ring battle royal, 22-man two-ring battle royal. Therefore, we have two rings set up the entire evening. As in the past, a couple matches would take place in the faraway ring, this is called ring number one, and this is where this particular scrap has taken place. Also, we will have matches for ring number two. So that's why you see all the ropes as Channel 39 does their best to bring the action right up close. Santana's number two on top. He's got Nick wrapped up in Japanese arm lock. Watch out, David Manning gets down close to the mat. You'll be seeing some other big names in action later on in this program. Bull Ramos, Bill White, Tiger Jr. Also interviews with many, many more and some fast, fascinating and exciting news about what's going to take place in this summit Sunday, January 7th. In the summit, spectacular number four, Andre the Giant goes after Harley Race for the world's heavyweight title. Supported with a super, super card that you hear more about as this program gets along. And right now, back to the mat, we've got Nick Kozak, who's trying to show Satanist number two a few things about wrestling the arms. He's got an arm bar. Nick does. Last few weeks, we've seen Nick in action as a referee. So a man who's able to step into any occupation and do a terrific job because he gives that all-out effort that's so necessary here in the sport of wrestling. Say tennis number two from Mexico. Our first look at him, Nick Kozak, using the first few minutes of this opening bout to fill him out. Now you see Nick go back to that arm bar, drives that arm up under the shoulder, say tennis number two. It's a head scissor now. Dennis number two yells out to David Manning to ask him. But fans here at the Coliseum know Nick Kozak, and they know that it's going to take a lot more than the head scissors to keep the capable Nick Kozak down. Watch how Nick works his knee into position. He's trying to relieve the pressure on the legs. Good job. Jumped right on the unexpected, say, tennis number two. He has a side headlock. A hold that Nick Kozak knows how to rub that forearm bones into the side of the head. And despite the mass that Satanus number two has on, there's not much protection. Nick Kozak's got a powerful grip when he slapped that headlock on. Kozak into the ropes. Kozak at that time was Look like say Tanner number one who's here at ringside encouraging his partner or brother. I don't know what the relation is. Looked like he might have reached up and grabbed a little of Kozak's boot just enough to throw the popular Kozak off guard. Five minutes have gone by. It's Tanner's, Tanner's number two has that front headlock. start to clap, they start to chant, they start to cheer Kozak on. And you can see it in the picture off to the left. Santana number one trying to help Santana's number two out. Two on one and David Manning's finding his return here to Houston, a tough one right here in the first match. Don't sell Kozak short. The going gets tough. That's when Kozak likes to get going. Say tennis number two decides the uh, best strategy is outside the ring. And I don't blame him. When you see a fired up Nick Kozak coming at you, 
Retreat is the first thing that comes to your mind. Don't forget later on in this program, you're going to hear some fascinating news about the summit show that's going to take place January 7th, Sunday night, starting at 7 at the summit. All the stars and champions that are going to appear there, you will get all that information later on. Such as the Funk Brothers appearing in a tag team. That should be quite an event up against Jose Arturio Mil Moscovitz. When Nick Kozak was grabbed by the tights, as you can see the strategy developing here for the Satanists, both number one and number two. Number two likes to bring them into those ropes and you saw what happened. They're taking advantage of David Manning and she turns his attention to one of the masks, hoodlums, the other one takes charge. Nick into the turnbuckle. Nick caught it bad. His back of his neck snapped up against that top turnbuckle. Now you see the fight back style of Kozak, the style that fans here at the Coliseum begin to recognize and begin to expect from the man who now makes use in his home. Comes out and pops the other one. Well, that's one way to take care of a thorn in the side and Nick Kozak slugged the one in the kisser. As this match starts to swing Kozak's way. Remember there's two rings in your pictures because there is two rings set up for a couple of the events we're going to take place here at the Coliseum tonight. So don't be surprised to see the wrestlers from one ring going to the other. As it program progresses, that's enough to knock the wind right out of state tennis number two. Almost enough for a fall. Nick came ever so close. Kozak again goes to one of the holes that made him a trademark. Talking about wrestling brothers, I mentioned the Funk Brothers. But Nick and his brother Jerry Kozak were quite a tag team in years ago. Not that many years ago, but they've turned in some wild, tremendous matches, much like the Funk Brothers are doing all over the world today. Against Jose Latorio and Mil Moscovitz, you're not going to find a better Mexican tag team in the entire world. It's Sunday, January 7th, starting at 7 at the Summit. Into the ropes, Santanis works Kozak. You saw what took place. As Santanis number two considers those turnbuckles, his allies as he tries to wear down to Kozak, it takes a lot of punishment to put Kozak down. Pound for pound, inch for inch, he's one of the toughest men in the sport today. Kozak, again, unfortunately, finds that turnbuckle. Ten minutes have gone by, which means five minutes or less remain, and wind up and slug him he did. Now Kozak starts on cork with those wallops of his, finding the midsection of Centennis number two. Got Kozak on top. We've got Kozak the winner. think the objections and protests of Santana's number one is going to mean a thing. Nick Kozak won the first match of your television action and we'll be back with more after this word from the studio. With me is Irv Marx of IW Marx Jewelers and Irv, they tell me you saved a lot of people a lot of money. You bet Paul, this half price sale that we've had for the last week or so has just been tremendous. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue it for just one more week 
and we will be open this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Come on in. All gold and diamond jewelry is half price, just as it's been last week. Pick up a ring, a bracelet, a gold chain, diamond pendants, diamond jewelry, mm -hmm. and look at the tag. Whatever it is, just pay 50%. That sounds almost too easy. You see, there's nothing complicated about your very, sale. Very, very simple, and the price is it's like, like stealing it. And we'll be open uh, Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be closed Monday, and the sale will continue till next week. All right, and now this is our final week. You better tell them where. We're at 3841 Bel Air Boulevard at Stella Link. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and it'll continue all week. Jimmy, who is Love TV Rentals' best salesman? Gary, I'm the best. See, Jimmy, lying makes a small person out of you. I'm Love's best salesman. The only short thing at Love TV is one-day delivery of your color TV or stereo. No credit questions. We include service. No extra money. Zenith, Sylvania, or Admiral. No risk with love. Try us first week or month. You'll love our business in just a little while. Call or go by the Love TV rental in your area. We're in the yellow pages. Simon didn't shop at Sage. <laughs> Simple Simon. Shop and save at Sage. All departments open Sunday, 9.30 to 6. Could start out by wishing you a happy new year, and I'll do better than that. I'll guarantee that the start of your brand new year is going to be good by introducing to you the giant. This young man standing to my side here, who is seven feet four and just close to 500 pounds, who will get the return match that so many of you demanded against world's heavyweight champion, Harley Race, and he will get that opportunity in the summit on Sunday, January the 7th. There will be no wrestling in the Coliseum or any place else next Friday night. There will be wrestling in the summit on uh, Sunday, January the 7th. And our ticket office at 1919 Caroline will be open for every day, including Sunday, including Sunday of this week and Sunday, January the 7th. And we will be open from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. We will also have tickets available at all top ticket agencies. That's all seven Foley's and Galveston. And wherever you find a top ticket agency, the tickets for the wrestling in the summit will be available. Lots of things on tap. Two world title matches and a tremendous tag team event that we're going to tell you about. Tom, would you take this, please? And... Um, this ought to do Tom's ego some good to be carrying uh, Andre the Giant. But remember, Sunday the 7th, and that is, if you're watching Sunday morning, we'll be able to say next Sunday. But if you're watching Saturday night, it's the Sunday after tomorrow. So that's the way we're going to have to handle it. But I mentioned the tag team action, and this is going to start the year off bigger than any year has ever started before in the state of Texas. And we're going to call on two of the men who are going to be involved as we bring over a couple of tag team partners for Sunday, January the 7th. We welcome back Neil Moskalis, and you can shake hands with the right one, but you're going to be able to do more than shake hands with the left one. That's correct, uh, Mr. Bosch. I'd like to say one thing, you know, uh, I think uh, January the 1st is going to be my happiest day because my cast, which I still have uh, for the last four weeks, is going to come off, and uh, I'm just hoping to get in shape. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, you know, I never stopped working out, and I'm just waiting for my greatest New Year's. It's going to come. Well, you and Bill Mascaris are going to have the toughest kind of tag team opposition. Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr., the great Funk brothers, and this, I, I, I can't imagine more action than any wondering at any time. Well, that's true, Paul, you know, because Mascaris and myself, we was talking, and uh, we consider Terry Funk and Dory Funk two ex-world heavyweight champion. It's going to be a tough competition, and uh, of course, you know, Mascaris and myself, so far, you know, for the last five years, we never lost a tag team ma uh, match, and uh, we expected a great match because we know we're going to go after two top contenders, two ex-world heavyweight champions, like I said before, and, and the only thing I'm going to do, I'm uh, just going to keep myself in great shape, and uh, I do believe that Mascaris, he, he conserves himself in great shape. Let me get Mr. Mascaris here. You right. talk too much. <laughs> come, on, come on over here, Mill. Yes, Mill, it's wonderful to have you back again, but you are the busiest man in the sports world today. You travel everywhere you wrestle every place yes sir i travel all over the world and wrestling all over the world but really i'm very very happy to come here to houston and see all the beautiful fans mm -hmm. in houston and i'm waiting for the next seven 
come and give me big moral support, who said to me, and I promise one of the best matches I've never seen before. You know, there are so many people who come into our office all the time, and the man they talk about so much all the time, Mil Vascaris, Mil Vascaris, and we agree with them. We have, over all of the 46 years I've been in wrestling, I have never seen a man who brings such pride and such talent and ability into wrestling. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, and thank you all the fans for giving me support. Would you like to say something to them in Spanish? Bueno, sí, deseo invitarlos a todos ustedes, público de habla hispana, vengan a apoyarnos, vengan a darnos el apoyo moral que aquí José y yo tanto necesitamos el próximo 7, y les prometemos una magnífica lucha, ya que como ustedes saben, Terry y Dory Fong son dos campeones mundiales, pero nosotros nunca hemos perdido una lucha en parejas, y con el apoyo de todos ustedes, les prometemos ganar. Muchísimas gracias, y por aquí los esperamos. Thank you very much, and we're happy to have you here, Senor Milmas, Chris. And Senor Jose, thank you. Thank you right. very much. Thank See, I didn't ask you to speak Spanish sir, for me today. <laughs> now there is a tag team special event. We have two world titles. The world girls title will be at stake when Mula defends against Vicky Williams. The world's heavyweight title at stake under the approval of the National Wrestling Alliance in the return match and the last battle between uh, Andre the Giant and Harley Race was a snip and tuck, slam bang sock kind of match that was fought in the ring and out of the ring. They were fought, uh, they were fighting outside the ring when they were counted out at the end of the match. Now, Andre the Giant has maintained that he should have had an immediate return match. But you know, Harley Race was in that battle too. And Harley Race became the first man to ever pick the Giant up and slam him and the first man ever to win a fall on Andre the Giant. And this has gotten under Andre's skin, and we're going to see the result of it on Sunday the 7th at 7 p.m. in the Summit. Easy to remember. Sunday, January 7th, 7 p.m. in the Summit. And our ticket office is open, if you're watching Sunday morning right now, for uh, information uh, about this card or to stop by. And we're going to have a great display of pictures of the last battle between Andre the Giant and Harley Race. We've got other things. Um, uh, Maniac Mark Lewin is going to defend his Brass Nux title in, on, on that card. We'll, we, you'll be meeting other people from this uh, great bill on, at the summit on the 7th before this uh, program is over. Right now we have this word from our good friends at Eddie's Mobile Homes. You don't have to give up comfort or that luxurious feeling when you purchase a mobile home from Eddie's. Today's mobile home comes in all sizes and floor plans, giving you a choice to suit your lifestyle. Whether you're single, a couple, or a family, you'll find a home at Eddie's to fit your needs at a price you can afford. Master bedrooms with bright and cheery master baths with sunken bathtubs. Large living and dining areas with beam ceilings. Kitchens with plenty of workspace to prepare those fancy gourmet meals. You'll be amazed at the elegance of today's mobile home. So come by one of Eddie's lots and move up to graceful, carefree living at affordable prices with a mobile home from Eddie's. The one and only Eddie's Mobile Homes. That's Eddie's Mobile Homes, 12,000 Hempstead, 17,603 East Tex Freeway, and Highway 288 in Angleton. It's home improvement time, and Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding is a man you can trust with the job. Mr. Norman will replace that faded chip paint with aluminum or vinyl siding that's virtually maintenance-free. He'll restore your shabby worn windows with easy-to-clean aluminum replacement windows. And Mr. Norman will replace those weak, torn gutters and faulty overhangs. Experience, skilled work, and reasonable prices make Mr. Norman the man to trust. Call 864-7766 for a free estimate. Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding, 864-7766. Starting the second match of your television portion of the action from the Sam Houston Coliseum on this, the final wrestling card of 1978. What a huge crowd. You're looking up in that ring as Tiger Jr. was pushed back up into the ropes. You see Tiger Conway now as he throws Bill White into the ropes and he caught that tremendous... Uh, that tremendous shoulder and you saw, I, I just got wrapped up with what he was doing to Bill White. I was wondering what was coming next <laughs> and it, you saw what was coming next. All right, it's Bill White in the 
light blue trunks. And he is from Raleigh, North Carolina, Tiger Conway Jr., who is a 235-pounder from Houston who first made his reputation by traveling to such out-of-the-way places as India and proving his ability and then doing it in this country. Tiger's a guy with a lot of guts. Last week he had a bloody and wild match with Tiger with the maniac Mark Lewin. And here he is now demonstrating some of that tremendous ability of his. Tiger Conway Jr. And there's a guy who can move around that ring and force the issue. White is no slouch. White is the kind of a guy who can take your head off and hand it to you. Referee David Manning giving the word to Bill White and now telling him to lay off the extracurricular activity. And we have the Tiger and Bill White trying to settle their differences within the rules if possible and it looks like they're going to stretch those rules quite a bit. Now those blows they have been delivering have been perfectly legal. They have been with the flat part of the hand and they have been with the forearm. These are considered legal blows in wrestling. That goes beyond the bounds and that's where when the referee permits it he extends the roughness of wrestling and in this case, Bill White benefits by it. Got a raft of youngsters who are celebrating birthdays here in the Coliseum tonight. We got a raft of other people who must be celebrating something because we have a jam-packed crowd here tonight. A huge crowd that is due to see a two-ring battle royal and you can see all those ropes around and you know that something's taking place. So Tiger was ready, and Bill White decided that he wasn't. We've got Aurora Perez celebrating her 13th birthday here tonight. We have David Martinez, who is nine years old. Rodney Craig Wells, or Wills, 12 years old. Paul Viramontes is nine years old. Jeff Foley is 12 years old and celebrating here at Houston Wrestling tonight. And Barbie Salas is 13 years old, celebrating here in the Coliseum tonight. Billy Jean Weatherly, nine years old, and Kay Weatherly will be 10 on January the 2nd. And there goes Tiger Conway Jr. And he comes over to grab hold of um, Bill White and to squirm around. And holy cow, he cleared these two rings. And believe me, there is a foot of open space between the rings. And he went over both those ropes, which must be about five feet apart. And right now, in ring number two, as they go on, David Manning is trying to get them back where they belong. But so far, he has, now he's given up. The two rings are there, and they went from one to the other in a sensational manner. Tiger Conway Jr., we have told you before that we think that he is one of the finest of the younger wrestlers coming up today, and he proves it every time he steps into that ring. So, Tiger came off with a headbutt, drove it into the midsection. Now, the question, of course, is whether it was a fair blow or a foul one, and that's what David Manning was questioning. Bye. But there was no evidence to the contrary or no intent. Five minutes have gone by. Ten minutes remain of this match, which has a 15-minute time limit. Remember, no wrestling next Friday night. And he whipped him right through that. Watch Tiger. He's going to go from one ring to the other? I don't believe that. He's going, and he's going to be first. And how he clobbered him. Tiger Conway Jr. He will try those things against Superstar in the summer on January 7th. 
That is a card that starts at 7 o'clock on Sunday night. But you'll only have one ring to work in, but with Superstar, one ring can be enough. And Bill White lowers the boom on young Tiger Conway. And with measured action as he comes down, he literally clobbers him. That's the Tiger in typical fashion. Beauty on top, Tiger Conway Jr. There's one. Close. And he dumped him with a passion. I'll tell you, there's two. I think that time Tiger thought maybe he'd like to give him one more body slam or a headbutt. One or the other. He's got him where he wants him. And Bill White blocked it nicely that time. That rip across the face is one for which it is most difficult to prepare. You can't build muscles. And the line of legality is a thin one. It can, you can use your forearm, but you can't use the points of the fingers. So Tiger backed up against the buckle. Bill White bearing in, Bill White pushing, and Tiger with a handful of nose gave him a taste of his own medicine. So White holds up, he's not seeing too well, and the best thing to do then is to start swinging and you might get lucky, at least you're going to keep somebody from hitting you. So as Conway moves in, his effort is at a side headlock, and referee David Manning tells him to move out of the corner. And there was solid contact, hard contact, and again. Wright tried to stop him with a foot. So he went from toe to head, and it was the head that proved more powerful. So the old axiom, if you use your head, you'll go further, is certainly true in Tiger's case. We have a great display of pictures that were taken when Andre the Giant and Harley Race wrestled in the summit earlier this year and this match on January 7th is a return of that match if you come to our office at 1919 you will have them on display and you're certainly welcome to spend all the time you want examining them and looking them over remember we are open on Sunday we're open on New Year's Day too and open every day until 5 o'clock on next Sunday oh is he laying the wallops in there he smashed him and smashed him hard So, Bill White switches around to the toe of the boot, and it becomes a powerful weapon. Ten minutes have gone by, and that one, as he came down, smashed on top of the leg of Bill White. And as he comes down here, too, it's exactly the same effort to try to take that head and use what we call a bulldogging headlock to drop in there and use the top of your thigh as the, as the weapon. Tiger has enough consciousness out there to be able to signal his fans to start sounding off, and sound off they do.
Tigers smart enough to keep away from him until he recovered. And the effort was worth it. He found an opening and he used it. Bill White's tough. He is tough and he's versatile. And you'd better watch out as Tiger found out just then. Because he'll start swinging and he'll find his mark. Now he's trying to set the Tiger up. But Tiger has a way of becoming unset in almost the same maneuver. And outside we've got Tiger Conway Jr. You see the two rings set up here and you know that they have been in both rings. That's the first time they've been on the floor. So even with two rings, there's not enough room for these two guys. Tiger being mauled and manhandled by that rugged style of Bill White. Three minutes to go as Tiger is whipped through the ropes and off into ring number one. Tiger is a ring away, but he's going to do something. Headbutt! He dove into him head first. There it is! So, Tiger Conway Jr. comes off that top rope and... We are with 56 seconds, Tiger Conway Jr. He smashed into him and he swallows. A great win for the man who will meet superstar Billy Graham in one of the tremendous battles that take place on Sunday, January the 7th at the Summit. And we're talking about a seven o'clock Sunday night starting time. And we're talking about action that winds up with two world title matches. We'll be back here with you in a moment. Right now we have this word from the studio. With me is Irv Marx of I.W. Marx Jewelers. And Irv, they tell me you saved a lot of people a lot of money. You bet, Paul. This half-price sale that we've had for the last week or so has just been tremendous. We're going to continue it for just one more week. And we will be open this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Come on in. All gold and diamond jewelry is half-price, just as it's been last week. Pick up a ring, a bracelet a gold chain, diamond pendants, diamond jewelry, mm -hmm. and look at the tag, whatever it is, just pay 50%. That sounds almost too easy, you see. Uh, there's nothing complicated about your very, sale. Very, very simple, and the price is, it's like, like stealing it. And we'll be open uh, Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be closed Monday, and the sale will continue till next week. All right, and now this is our final week. You better tell them where. We're at 3841 Bel Air Boulevard at Stella Link. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and it'll continue all week. Jimmy, good folks don't have to wrestle with the risk of buying a color TV or stereo anymore. Gary, is Love TV Rental the world's champion? Jimmy, Love TV knows the ropes. Folks never take a fall with us. Get yourself a winner. Love TV Rental. Your phone call brings a famous color TV or stereo like Zenith, Sylvania, or Admiral. Service parts and labor included. No extra money. No risk with Love TV Rental. No credit questions asked. Try us first week to week or month to month. You'll love our business because you're the winner. Call or go by the Love TV Rental in your area. We're in the yellow pages. Hit that bell, and we start over in ring number one. Sounds strange to be saying that, but there are two rings set up here, so that's the reason why. But this is the third event of your televised portion of Houston Wrestling tonight. And you are looking at Bull Ramos as he puts the big squeeze on his opponent. Bull is a, can put a big squeeze. He's got 320 pounds with which to do it. And he's in there against... Randy Brewer, who hails from Cleveland, Ohio, and Randy is a capable and likable young man who has made a big hit with fans here. This match has a time limit of 15 minutes, and Bull Ramos is going to have his hands full with Randy Brewer. Referee is David Manning, and the fans have agreed that he is fast-moving and that he's done a good job. 
So standing arm lock, but we have had two victories by people who are popular. Tiger Conway Jr. and Nick Kozak have both won here tonight. And that's what makes a referee <laughs> really a great referee. So Bull Ramis turns and twists around there to capture the arm. He's trying to turn over and take a, an arm lock from underneath, but he didn't quite make it. Burrow was smart enough to do something about it. Now it's a twisting arm lock, and Bull has that arm turned and bent. And the guy who won the Golden Gloves Championship in the, of the state of Texas when he was an amateur and who has made his name a great one in the wrestling world in many parts of the world now would like to let these fans in Houston see that he knows how to wrestle as well as how to be as tough as, a, as he can get and that's pretty tough. Bull Ramis will see action next Sunday, January the 7th, at the summit. Bull is going to be in there against Nick Kozak in the opening match of a card that winds up with a pair of world title matches. And Bull's natural instinct is to wrestle as rugged as he looks, as tough as he is. But he, fans have taken to cheering the bull, and it could affect his style. That could affect him, too. When 320 pounds lands from that height and splashes on that tough uh, canvas, it could change anybody's style. Here tonight, we've got the greatest crowd ever to see a, a year out in wrestling. And 1978 has been a record-breaking year for the sport here in the city of Houston. And we're mighty, mighty proud of our fans and their tremendous support. But today, we have broken all records this year, and we're going to start 1979 in the summit with the intention of doing exactly the same thing next year but we can only do it by supplying action and with two world title matches and all the other battles that will be on next sunday you just can't help but get action bull ramus bear hug waist lock whatever you want to call it the waist lock is usually used for for positioning the bear hug to squeeze and make it tough for a man to breathe and to pin him and the difference is merely a matter of a few inches and a lot of weight and now Randy's fans are bellowing some advice to him Bulls fans are screaming for him to be the bull and Randy is the guy who heard the most. Five minutes. Five minutes have gone by. Ten minutes remain in this match as Bull Ramos has that leg pulled up from an inside toe hold and Randy Brewer hangs on to the foot. Chin lock is what Bull's using to try to uh, to try to jerk Randy Brewer's head off. And Bull Ramos was, was into the ropes that time. It was a close call, but he decided that it was better to do that than to let um, Randy Brewer work on his uh, leg so with 
Bull Ramis turning his head. Randy Brewer gets a chance to keep that arm straight and the pull at the foot. See the twist he's putting on it right now as he works on the toe and the heel. And Brewer is going for the Indian deathlock. He may not make it because Bull Ramis has a hunk of his head and he's got to do something with it. Those of you who saw Andre the Giant and Harley Race battle in the summit back in the fall of this year know what kind of a match we're going to have next Friday, next uh, Sunday, next Sunday. There'll be no wrestling here next Friday, but next Sunday night in the summit, we have already had men from the National Wrestling Alliance from 12 states who are, have in this very short time that this match has been made have informed me that they're going to be on hand next week Vince McMahon from the Madison Square Garden Frank Tunney of the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto we have Stu Hart of Calgary coming here next week Mike LaBelle the man who promotes wrestling in Los Angeles we've got them coming because they are sensing the fact that size is going to be paying the the freight for Andre the Giant next week and they know how close he came to it and Bull Ramis looking for a chance to use the leg breaker comes in there to um, drop in and land his 320 pounds on the leg of um, Randy Brewer Inside to hold, <laughs> Bull Ramis doing the twisting, doing the turning, doing the positioning for the, for the hold as Randy Brewer decides that that's one way to do something about it. In the corner, Randy Brewer. And he... Hauls off to uncork a few on Bull Ramis' jaw, and this, of course, may stir in Bull Ramis that feeling that he ought to hand some of it back to him. And Bull is always at his best when it comes to laying it in there and giving blow for blow, which is what he's trying to do at this particular moment. Randy Brewer, and he hauled off to clobber uh, Bull Ramis. So the Bull has suddenly finds that the match has, has changed, and he is pleased at the change. You remember, if you're watching this on Saturday night, our ticket office will be open tomorrow, Sunday, starting at 8.30 in the morning, and will be open to 4.30 in the afternoon. And if you're watching on Sunday, we're open as you watch this program, and we welcome you to come by and say hello or to look over the pictures in our Museum of Wrestling History, or certainly tickets are available for the matches at the Summit. The Summit box office is also open. Ten minutes have gone by in this. And remember that all Foley stores, the top ticket centers, all Foley stores, Pasadena and in uh, all, through, all around Houston, will be carrying the tickets starting on Tuesday morning. We will be carrying them on New Year's Day as well. Bull Ramos lowering the boom and finding his mark and trouble for Randy Brewer. But he's the guy who first started popping him. And when you do that, you've got to anticipate that you're going to have trouble. David Manning trying to keep 
Randy Brewer under control. And so is Bull Remus trying to keep Randy Brewer under control. And Brewer has caught on to the fact that he has gotten a few of these people on Bull's side by starting the, the walloping. Now you're looking at Bull Ramis as Bull Ramis is at his best. And, and here as he starts mouthing off to the referee, you know that it's Bull Ramis and you know that he's in good form. remaining in this match as Bull Ramis starts to swing around and find his mark on Randy Brewer. That was a big mark too. This is one of Bull's best moves. He's on top. So Bull Ramis uses his 320 pounds. He uses the 320 pounds and that Always hand the elbow of his to flatten Randy Brewer and to stay in contention for a scrap with the man who holds the brass knucks title, Maniac Mark Lewin. We're going to be back here in a moment with more action for you, but right now we pause for this word from the studio. Friends, is your home beginning to show its age with chipped or worn paint? Well, why paint? Mr. Norman's roofing and siding can show you how aluminum or vinyl siding can save you the added expense of frequent painting and at the same time better insulate your home. Now, just take a look. That rough, weather-worn exterior becomes a virtually maintenance-free exterior with new aluminum or vinyl siding. In addition, Mr. Norman will restore beauty and comfort with sturdy, easy-to-clean replacement windows. And he'll fix your weak, torn gutters, your cracked corners, and your overhang. Before you think of painting, call Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding. He's the man you can trust for a lifetime of lasting siding or roofing work. 864-7766. That's 864-7766 for a free estimate. Now, Mr. Norman, roofing and siding for your aluminum or vinyl siding work. No one knew where he came from. No one seemed to know his name. But that didn't matter, because he lived up to his claim. He was a tobacco-chewing workhorse of a man. Yes, he was. And his chew was a longer-lasting workhorse brand. Workhorse chewing tobacco. It's got longer-lasting flavor for the hard-working man. And his chew was a longer-lasting workhorse brand. You know, I'm not a fancy chef, but sometimes I do get to fooling around in the kitchen. Right here, I'm cooking up some blue ribbon sausage. It's my favorite. It's easy to prepare, and you can make it so many ways as a meal or as a snack. And it's so delicious. And I keep Blue Ribbon's free recipe book close by. It's got more than 20 ways to prepare Blue Ribbon smoked sausage. Next grocery shopping day, get Blue Ribbon sausage to help you make it. It's delicious. Oops. Well, all of our interviews are being done before the matches start here at the Sam Houston Coliseum tonight. This is being done during the final show of 1978. But we are talking about the first show of 1979. But the, we're going to have a tremendous crowd here tonight. You can hear them in the background as they sound off. But we anticipate that this, the biggest year-ending show in Houston wrestling history, is going to be followed on the 7th of January in the Summit at 7 p.m. by the biggest year opening show in the history of Houston wrestling. And that goes back for at least 60 years, of which I am uh, very well aware and well informed. Now, the two main events, two world titles will be at stake in two tremendous battles. The world's girls title with Moolah defending against Vicki Williams and the battle between 
Andre the Giant and is 7 feet 4 and almost 500 pounds against world's champion Harley Race. But there are other matches. Now you've met Mil Mascaris and you've met Jose Lothario, who will be a tag team uh, on that event, and they will face Dory Funk Jr. and Terry Funk in what should be a classic of wild tag team action. But the Brass Knucks champion will defend his title on that card when Dusty Rhodes tries to take it away from Maniac Mark Lewin. And of course, this always means his ubiquitous Bring him here, Marcus, manager. Bring him here, stick him out, brother. I want everybody to know that on Sunday, January the 7th in the summit, I'm going to have his hands taped. I'm going to have them taped early. I'm going to start taping them around about 6.45. When the wrestling starts at 7 o'clock, I'm going to begin to tape. And I'm going to tape for about two and a half hours. And when he gets in the ring with you, Dusty Rhodes, the tape is going to be hard. It's going to be tight. And you are going to feel the hands of Satan thunder on your head. And after he knocks you down about eight or nine times and puts abrasions all over your face, begins to crack your jaw and prove that he and he alone is the toughest man in wrestling in Texas. Oh, you mentioned wrestling. No All this stuff that you've been talking about, I was wondering when he was going to start wrestling. Let me tell you, a tape fist match for the Brass Knucks title. You throw the rule book out the window. No, Marky, Marky, we don't want no suspensions. If it wasn't for a suspension, wait and do it to Rhodes in the summit. Don't, Marky, wait for Rhodes. This is Rhodes's man. He's the one that brought Rhodes here to take your Brass Knucks title. I'm going to tape him tight, brother. The hands of Satan will fall on your head. Seven, 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 three sevens. We got it all in the summit, Bosh, and you can't stop. The Brass Knucks title, and Mark Lewin is the Brass Knucks champion. And he has proven that he could be considered the toughest man in the wrestling world on many occasions here. And there's, there's no, no question about that. Mark Lewin, this tape, this is permitted in a Brass Knucks title match. With me now is Tiger Conway Jr. And Tiger is going to be facing Superstar in the Summit card on the 7th. And Tiger, you still got stitches in your head from Mark Lewin last week. That's right, you know, it hurt, it hurt a lot, Paul. But I just want to say one thing. Mark Lund, let me tell you, I hope Gary Hart can advise you and tell you exactly what I'm saying to you. I am from Houston, Texas. I was born and raised right here. And I'll tell you, I ain't seen too many Texans take a beating and turn their back and walk away and leave it like that. But I want to say one thing. Mark Lund, you'll get yours. I ain't through. You've done something to my father, too. That's not, ain't been settled yet, Paul. You hear what I'm saying? Look at 12 stitches, the first time ever. Mm -hmm. That many stitches I in my head. It. it hurts. I'll take care of Mark Lewin. I just want you to give me a chance. Mm -hmm. First, you got to take care of Superstar. Well, former world's Worldwide Federation champion, right? Right. Okay. Superstar Billy Graham, I'm ready. Bring it on. We'll get it on. Mm -hmm. Come to me. I'll give it to you. Thank you very much. Tiger Conway Jr., a young man who is following in famous footsteps with his father, and there's no question that he has the shoes to finish, to fill that, that. I don't want you fellas around here. You're staying here and annoying everything that happens. Why don't you go back to the dressing room where you belong? I don't care. He makes me nervous standing around there and making motions and Jesse go back to the dressing room where you belong I'm afraid action is going to break out here between Ox Baker and Mark Lewin Mr. Ox Baker a superhero I think to some of these people when you step into the ring with the man who holds the brass knucks title tonight they're going to consider you a superhero you know, people of Houston, 
At one time, nobody seemed to like me, but the people of Houston have seemed to take me to their heart because I've got one thing. When I make them a promise that I'm going to put that heart punch on somebody, I put it on them, and when I put them on them, they got to fall, Paul. And you will be wrestling Gino Hernandez in the Summit on Sunday the 7th in a show that starts at 7 o'clock, and people will be waiting for that match. I think you know that. First of all, I think the people of Houston should thank you for getting that card the 7th of January, and I'm very happy to be on it. And Gino Hernandez, after I've taken care of Mark Lowen, you're next. And I want to promise you, Paul, and the people in Houston, I've still got my stretcher, and I'm still going to have people carried out of here because I am going to be the hero of Houston, and with this hard punch, I think I can take them all. A lot of people think you can. Thank you, Paul. Okay, Alex. We will be facing Gino Hernandez in the summit on Sunday, January the 7th. Tiger Conway Jr. will be facing superstar Billy Graham in the summit on January the 7th. And Mark Lewin will be battling Dusty Rhodes on that same card. Then we start getting into the tag team event with the Funks and Mil Mascaris and Jose Lothario and the girls match between world's champion Mula and Vicky Williams and the great return battle between Andre the Giant and Harley Race that should set wrestling history here in Houston. Our ticket office is open. If you're watching Sunday morning, it's open as you watch this program. And we will be open until 4.30 today. We will be open tomorrow. That's New Year's Day. We will be open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, right through to the 7th, every day for your convenience. Your tickets are also available at all top ticket stores. And that means all the Foley stores carry them. It means that all the other top ticket agencies and the Summit box office will have them. Let's have a word from Eddie's Mobile Homes. Mobile home dealers come and go, but Eddie's just keeps rolling along. And the reason Eddie's Mobile Homes is Houston's oldest mobile home dealer is reliability. Eddie stands 100% behind every home they sell. Well-trained service personnel guarantee you complete satisfaction on any problems that may arise after you purchase an Eddie's Mobile Home. This assurance of complete satisfaction with your mobile home purchase has made Eddie's one of Houston's largest mobile home dealers. And being one of Houston's largest volume dealers guarantees you low prices and a wider selection of styles than the extras you're looking for in your mobile home. With any major purchase like a mobile home, the reputation of the dealer is an important factor to consider. And no one can hold a candle to the reputation Eddie's has built up over the years. That's Eddie's Mobile Homes, 12,000 Hempstead, 17,603 East Tex Freeway, and Highway 288 in Angleton. Up in the ring, the contestants have been introduced, and you are looking at Mike the Big Un. Or is it necessary to tell you you're looking at Mike the Big Un? The gum-chewing Cajun is apparently as big as anybody you're going to see except for Andre the Giant, who Andre the Giant doesn't weigh as much, but he stands uh, half a foot taller than Big Mike. And Satanus number one is in there with Big Mike. I don't think Mike uh, brought along any wrestling gear. These look like the same overalls that he wears under ordinary circumstances. And the standing arm lock being used by Big Mike, or rather being, uh, being stopped by Big Mike. I look at Satanus and he was quivering right down into his boots as the um, Big fellow just stood there with that arm. It was bent, and Satanus was hanging on to it. But as he was hanging on to it, he wasn't able to budget or move it or change it or do anything. And Big Mike in a side headlock. Now Satanus is going to have his hands full, trying to do anything. The and Mike is strong. He is a big man. And he has a grin on his face that is as wide as his, as his face, which is, is particularly wide. And the, he, he just grinned all over. He enjoyed putting Satanus up on that uh, turnbuckle. 
Now, we want to remind you, we'd like to have you come by 1919 Caroline. That's at the corner of Pierce in downtown Houston today. There'll be no traffic. There'll be no parking problems. We'd like to have you come by and visit with us on this day. We're open from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. And get your tickets early for that summit show because we are going to have a record-busting crowd for a record-busting card. And those two world title battles that top the bill are going to have you talking all through the rest of 1979. But come and visit with us and see our museum of pictures. We welcome you. But right now, it's time for us to tell you that we'll have this word from the studio. It's home improvement time, and Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding is a man you can trust with a job. Mr. Norman will replace that faded chip paint with aluminum or vinyl siding that's virtually maintenance-free. He'll restore your shabby worn windows with easy-to-clean aluminum replacement windows. And Mr. Norman will replace those weak, torn gutters and faulty overhangs. Experience, skilled work, and reasonable prices make Mr. Norman the man to trust. Call 864-7766 for a free estimate. Mr. Norman Roofing and Siding, 864-7766. With me is Irv Marx of I.W. Marx Jewelers. And Irv, they tell me you saved a lot of people a lot of money. You bet, Paul. This half-price sale that we've had for the last week or so has just been tremendous. We're going to continue it for just one more week. And we will be open this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Come on in. All gold and diamond jewelry is half-price, just as it's been last week. Pick up a ring, a bracelet a gold chain, diamond pendants, diamond jewelry, mm -hmm. and look at the tag, whatever it is, just pay 50%. That sounds almost too easy, you see. Uh, there's nothing complicated about your very, sale. Very, very simple, and the price is it's like, like stealing it. And we'll be open uh, Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. We'll be closed Monday, and the sale will continue till next week. All right, and now this is our final week. You better tell them where. We're at 3841 Bel Air Boulevard at Stella Link. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and it'll continue all week. Jimmy, good folks don't have to wrestle with the risk of buying a color TV or stereo anymore. Gary, is Love TV Realm the world's champion? Jimmy, Love TV knows the ropes. Folks never take a fall with us. Get yourself a winner. Love TV Riddle. Your phone call brings a famous color TV or stereo like Zenith, Sylvania, or Admiral. Service parts and labor included. No extra money. No risk with Love TV Rental. No credit questions asked. Try us first week to week or month to month. You'll love our business because you're the winner. Call or go by the Love TV Rental in your area. We're in the yellow pages and trust for lifetime siding on your home. And by Love TV and Stereo Rental with five locations to serve you. Your host and ringside announcer was Paul Bosch. Houston Wrestling will return next week at the same time with more exciting action. Houston Wrestling is a sports feature presentation of Channel 39. This program was pre-recorded. Adventures with that. Aquí, sí, con nosotros.